This morning, we're remembering 9-11. All eyes were on New York City, September 11, 2001, as the world watched the Twin Towers fall. Terrorists hijacked two commercial airlines, crashing them into the towers, causing massive damage and fires inside. Many people lost their lives when those planes hit. Some even fell to their deaths as a last resort to escape the large plumes of smoke and fire. The impact caused the buildings to eventually collapse, bringing more death and, and de destruction to the streets of Manhattan. This along with the damage caused by a third plane targeting the Pentagon. But what happened next shocked the world. Hundreds of first responders and many civilians all rushed forward into the dust and rubble, trying to rescue all they could. Many more lives were lost there due to those rescue efforts in the years to come. Now back here at home, many will gather at the Tucson Convention Center to climb the equivalent number of steps of the World Trade Center towers. News 4 Tucson's Connor McGill joins us live now from the TCC. And Connor, what can you tell us about today's event? Well, Megan, uh, let me tell you, this is one of those days where everyone remembers where they were in that moment. I know a lot of people I've uh, had a chance to speak with this morning say they watched it unfold on uh, television just like you're watching now at home. TV news is where a lot of people found out about what happened there on that fateful day. And over a thousand people are going to be gathering here at the Tucson Convention Center to take that climb that many of those uh, firefighters and military officials did on that day. Exactly 2,071 steps. And I want to show you something uh, kind of cool that I got as uh, I uh, took a break in between the last hit. And today everyone is going to be getting a uh, lanyard right here and uh, it looks like we're going to go to VO and we'll get to that here in a bit but the, this event in its 13th year its mission is to honor the brave first responders who gave their lives running towards danger during the attacks in addition to the military families who saw their loved ones go off to war all funds raised in today's event go to local first responder and military charities we spoke with the president of the group's foundation about what today means to the community take a listen our, our biggest mission here is uh, never forget, right? And uh, as we get further and further away from uh, 2001, we're now seeing uh, generations of people that are, you know, coming into the uh, workforce and things like that that, have, that were not alive, um, you know, during the actual events. And so that's really the, the heart of our mission. And we're back out here live at the TCC. I did want to get to the lanyard because I uh, do feel it is important to mention uh, this creative thing that our organizers are doing at this event. Everyone is getting a lanyard with uh, someone who uh, passed away on that day or who was found in the rubble. Uh, today, I have uh, Peter Nelson. You can see his photo right there on your screen now. Um, and uh, Peter was uh, 42 years old when he died. Uh, we're going to get into his story at 630. I'm going to take some time to look up his backstory so we're able to give you that here at KVOA. Things are set to start here at 7 p.m. with the climb. Back to you, Megan. Hey, on 7 a.m., I think that it starts in about an hour, if that's correct, for people just getting up, maybe heading over. What can you tell us about people registering? Yeah, Megan, well, there is still plenty of time to get on out here. As Again, as I mentioned, the ceremony starts at 6.30. The climb starts at 7, so there is plenty of time to get on out here. They are doing same-day registration, and it, it is a highly encouraged you come out here. And if you're not interested maybe in the climb, organizers also said you can walk around the, the concourse or even spectate what's going on. They said anyone uh, just coming out, uh, again, just remembering today uh, is uh, something they, uh, again, look forward to every year. Back to you, Megan. Thank you, Connor, and thanks for being there today.